it should be a really exciting set. And I've never seen these two play either, so. Yeah, I haven't seen these before. Nice. You guys can start. Whatever you're ready. Yeah, I'm curious to see who Passion's gonna go because I've seen him go like three characters. Okay, Sheik. Yeah, his Sheik's been playing really good today. Um, he also has a Diddy and I forgot what else. <laughs> a Pichu. Yeah, but he has more. Like he's put out more. I've seen him play um, a lot of characters. Yeah, both of them starting just charging up their projectiles. Um, obviously, charge shot is gonna be more important to have charged. So let's see how that plays out in neutral. Ooh, Ooh the jab one? <laughs> yeah, jab one, falling off flat and converting to a fair. Yeah, he's really strong conversions and only thing I, I like to see him like hold center stage more. Um, I feel like sometimes I, I have the same issue, but he gets a little bit too um, just tunnel vision, tu tunnel hitting. vision, yeah, and a little bit too innovative, ends up just losing stage control. You know, I was uh, in, in your last game versus Ace. I was like, I don't know, man. He's got a full stock to make up. I think that like mm -hmm. it's doable, but I think that the, the RNG needs to be in his favor too. And then within like five <laughs> seconds, you pulled the fucking dot eyes, and I was so, like, there it is. Okay, I hit him at least once with the dot eyes. Did I hit him more than once? I think you hit him twice. Okay, and that's pretty good then. Yeah, usually I don't make my RNG actually useful, but um... random might not be the play. May may not indeed be the play. I was uh, I was thinking I was a little a little skeptical after you your Falco was three stocked, but yeah. So I just learned that matchup because I lost to Mudomo twice, and then you don't uh, want to you don't want to lose it again. No. So la then last time we played, I did pretty well against him. So I think I I understand that matchup now. Yeah. So you three out him right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of like patience all of a sudden. Um, Stock one, they were like just coming at each other running. Um, I mean, Sheik was running at the Samus, but now um, a lot more patient from both sides, and I think it's because he has lost the lead. Ooh, this awesome. character is so cool. I just wish they. It's like, like I know the character is good, right? Oh, like, we're, I'm gonna put that out there. I think this character is really good. Mm -hmm. Like, their their potential peak is is very high within this cast, but it's just like, bro, the the fucking inputs per minute. You have to be so consistent, and it's so match exhausting. Matchup knowledge is like one of the most important things, and it's I don't know. You you have to have so much practice on a hard character. Oh Ooh. my god, trading too? He traded, so he didn't lose his stock. So well played. And and he's been, he's been making really good use of down airs, like killing right there, and not just that, but he's been using it in neutral. I find that down tilt to the ledge. Yeah, and chipping away with um, needles, three percent. Three whole percent, baby. <laughs> hey, this is that's Sam like Samus jab one. <laughs> this is chic. We're talking about three percent matters. And she's got a combo. She's got a combo tree that only works when you're at three percent, baby. She probably does. Probably. There's probably some special combo on Samus with heavy with floaty. Void knows it. I'm sure. Yeah, Void's in chat. He'll tell us. But pretty even, like throughout this whole um, first game, it's pretty much gonna come out to who could take this, um, be taking the stocks. If he's not live, I could potentially get him into the chat to provide some commentary. I'm a, uh, I'm coworkers with his uh, roommate. Oh, oh really? Yeah, that's cool. I have seen like the, like the ESA merch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a new bouncing fisher's coming. I think he was a little bit too slow. Um, I think he kind of got too. Ooh, finding yeah. the down B. Um, looking good. Looking really good. I feel like. In general, like for game one, um, Samus's are usually stronger, and or at least in this matchup, I feel like the Samus should be stronger game one, and slowly this Sheik would adapt. But since it, we're already seeing the Sheik win, I just feel like it's, it's he's only going to get stronger. Yeah, it's going to be on. hard. Going to be hard for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think they're just running it back. I guess this is still Pokemon music.
Yeah, running it back to PS2. I don't blame him. This is a really good stage for both of these mm -hmm. both of these characters. I think that it might be like just the tiniest bit Samus favor, at least when it comes to just like like how good the platforms are for her. Yeah. Being able to sit into those platforms and use charge shot is just like such a fucking threat. But I think mm -hmm. I I think Sheik is probably one of those characters that probably doesn't have a bad stage. I mean, maybe like objectively like Kalos just because it's huge. And not even. I feel like Kalos would still be good. Like, yeah, because then she can utilize like wall jump stuff or it, like, you know, ledge trumps and back airs and, and like set up for off stage plays more easily. 100%. And a lot of um, the flat stages could be really good for Sheik, like depending on the matchup, of course. Oh my god. He's he's looking, dude. Mm -hmm. He barely avoided that side B. Gator Kid uh, plays today. I think he was going Duck Hunt slash Yoshi. But I, I, I know him for K Roll. I know he's been playing K Roll for a long time. Um, but yeah, oh, last oh. week he went all Yoshi, and then I don't know if you played him today or if you saw him play. I saw him playing one game of Duck Hunt, and that's it. Yeah, so I heard he went Duck Hunt against Strike, who was playing Peach, and that's, that is why Strike lost that matchup is like minus two, minus three. It's so hard. I was, I was talking about it earlier. I think that Samus is also really bad, right? Samus is really. Well, it's bad, yeah. <laughs> I won't say really bad, but it's definitely I was going to say, amazing. like, at least, like, worse than minus one. Oh, yeah. It's, like, minus one or maybe worse. I'm not sure because even taking a game off Ace makes me a little bit skeptical, but it definitely is hard. Like, Sam Store has lost to um, to random Samus. Or not random, but Samus is. Okay, and Choji holding the um, stock lead and sitting at 140%, which honestly isn't too high for Samus. Um... But in this set, we've seen like not him not surviving super long, so nice to see him surviving to a high percent now. And yeah, we're seeing Choji is um, definitely in control, like when he's in the lead. I mean, obviously he's gonna be more comfortable, but I feel like if he's gonna win the set, he needs to make the most utilization there. Passion been really, really good at finding like these openings and then just like controlling the game immediately. Like he's not getting a ton of percent off of him because it's cheek, right? But like, of course, like. You know, Choji's now been off stage for the last 15 seconds, just finding his way back it, to neutral. Honestly, just having like a s extremely good neutral and, um, and like being able to cover options, you're gonna get the percent. Like, sure, you're not gonna get it instantly, but if you hold advantage and it's easy to hold advantage as a character, you're gonna get damage. It's kind of like he's already at 62 percent, and that, most of that was done when he was Ooh. when uh, Samus was in disadvantage. So now he's in the anything kills you range. If he gets up thrown, he's dead. If he yeah. gets charge shotted, he's dead. Yeah, There's the up throw. And especially in corner, well, he accepts the corner, but at the time, it's like, what do you do? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I think Samus is like a top 15 character. Okay, uh, I, I agree. And I think that if she didn't have the up throw kill throw, at least not as early and consistent as she did, she wouldn't be top 15. I think just like. Being, an, uh, being a character that has such explosive fucking projectiles, zoning tools, like, good frame data, good normals, and then, like, you know, can still condition you to just sit and shield and then kill you at 150 mm -hmm. off the top regardless with a chain grab, right? Yeah. If it was just a normal, like, like like run up and grab you and then throw you upwards and not just like the fucking whip, like, whip grab you from, like, the stage away, mm -hmm. if it wasn't that... I don't think she'd be as good. But just having that is like a, oh man, you, know, you gotta shield stuff. But like if you shield too long or you hold it for like just a second too long, that charge shots is gonna have enough mm -hmm. hit stun on your shield that you literally just get grabbed. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like true and, grab. And not just that, but people are so terrified of, you know, being grabbed because even like the grab combos, keeping you, um, keeping stage control or killing, her grab is always so useful. That's so but, good, man. And that conditions so many options, whether it's jump or like whatever you might be doing to try to avoid the grab. And Sam, that's like what Samus's whole game plan is. Diddy call. Oh, I don't know. I think the Sheik was looking good. Yeah, the, the Sheik was good. I, I I know she could have a little bit of nerves. Um, and I don't I don't know. His Diddy Kong's good, but this matchup is also bad for almost the same reasons as Peach in some ways. I think Diddy Kong probably does a little bit better. Um, yeah, for sure. Banana makes things a little bit less convoluted. Uh, and, and you're fast, faster. Yeah, you're fast. You can actually like. I mean, Sheik is fast, and Sheik has needles, right? For the same sense. Oh, oh wait, do you think Diddy is better than Samus? No, uh, okay, that's not okay. what I was saying. I was just saying I think that this might be just a slightly better matchup than than Sheik Samus, mm -hmm. and it's just because like you know, Sheik. I mean, 
it's just like, it's fundamentally hard. You have to work really, really hard. And Diddy Kong has to work hard too, right? Like you can just hold this neutral, like sit on her platforms, do charge shot, but at least Diddy Kong can contest her approach options with Banana really well. And then the punishes become a lot simpler, right? And instead of going like, oh, you know, I caught you once. How am I going to put you off stage and then like chip away at you? It's just Diddy Kong is like, all right, I caught you once. Now you get grabbed and take 40%. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Diddy, honestly, I still think this matchup, I think, honestly, she could be better, in my opinion. Um, but if there were any way to make this matchup feel better, it's going to have to be in ledge trapping, because that's where Samus is her worst. Ironically, it's also where the reverse of her is her best. But yeah, this is um, the perfect Ooh. position. Wow. <laughs> that was scary. Good forward air. I don't think that it is Wagner. I don't know, I kind of agree with Wagner, and I think this matchup's losing. But we'll see. He's so far, he's doing good with the Diddy. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Diddy Kong kind of sleeper broken on this stage. The platforms mm -hmm. are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, platforms are actually really good on this stage for Diddy. I never thought about that. It's like, yeah, he doesn't get the dumb, like, like down throw dare shit as easily because you just land on the platform at that percent. But, like... That's not why it's good for him. Like, no. being able to just sit up there and, like, you know, shark with fairs or, you know, drop down. Like, there's just so many tools for mix-up. Especially, like, an optimized... Oh, he could have just F-smashed him or down-smashed. But especially an optimized Diddy. Um, like, Ooh, especially... the tilt! Not I love when Diddy Kongs use that move because only, Wes is literally the only Diddy Kong that uses that I, move that I, I see. I know. Whenever I play, I, I... Like, when I'm thinking of what I need to do, I'm like, I need a forward tilt. But <laughs> it's hard so to... So good, It's dude. so It's like, I... I I was watching uh, when Legit played Karama in like 50, it was like, like not 15 games, but like 13 or so total games, um, like at ESA two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, I think I saw him use F-Tilt one time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've never seen him use F-Tilt. And it's like, bro, Chris, please use F-Tilt. Mm -hmm. I know it's so good. Seven frames. You don't even fucking have to angle it because the just the non-angled version of F tilt hits lower than the downwards angled version of F tilt. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> That's why you'll never see Wes angle it. He okay. always just throws it out it, it, in a straight line. You don't have to fucking think about it mm -hmm. at all, and it's just active forever. Catches like most recoveries, two frames. Like, it's so broken, man. But we're seeing um. Also, I just realized we could have asked first ace about the matchup opinions. <laughs> but um, we're seeing Choji holding the lead again, and it, it makes you wonder like, if the switch is valid. There's Geo, yeah. Diddy's so good on Kalos. Agreed. The character's really good on this stage. He's really good in general, but he's really good on this stage. Mm -hmm. oh, like, yeah. this is such a scary... Like, uh, this is so scary, because he just throws the fucking banana up at you, and like now you're like sitting next to the blast zone like on a platform with a banana. Mm -hmm. And that parry... Um, Against the banana was so important on that platform because they allowed him to survive. He would have been would have been in a horrible position. And he's catching the options, but he's like not making the most use out of it. Like an up tilt when he could have like sent him off stage or even try to get a kill. When you're at one above 100, percent you gotta start. If you're gonna go for a read, make it make it count. We were, yeah, we were talking about Chris not up tilting, and then Amos says that he's been trying to convince Chris for three years to f tilt. All right, finding the up smash. This isn't not doable. This is hard, but it's not undoable. It's definitely hard. And like Sam is coming down, being able to charge and having all this room. That's that's probably the worst part. This is where the stage. Right, is you playing. have to approach her because you're at the deficit right now. Yeah. She doesn't have to do shit, and that's just gonna be the damage down smash. Mm. Nice. Yeah. See, unfortunate because for me, when I was like behind, I was like whatever. I don't have to approach. I'm just going to play super careful and get turn up damage. Banana is not going to do damage from across the stage, you know? Mm -mm. And then if you throw it and you have to throw it to the ground, then throw it or else they could just use the banana. Mm -hmm. And Samus with the banana is terrifying. But yeah, so... I wouldn't even say that. It's like a painter... A, a Chris not using F-Tilt is like a painter refusing to use a paintbrush. <laughs> It's not even like using a good or a He's bad one. It's just like not fucking using one. He's just like rolling his face across the canvas, like dipping his hair. He's like dipping his hair on the fucking like uh, on the platter and then just like painting with his scalp. Well, you know you're a good artist when you can make it work. It makes it work. It still looks pretty, but oh my God, what if he had a paintbrush? <laughs> that was the perfect way to put it. And it oh, did he oh he, he swapped it.
Does she? Good. I, I got I got tricked. Mm. I approve of the switch, but I got tricked. Yeah, I approve of the switch, and stage choice is good. Oh my god. <laughs> the teeth bagging. Um, also, banger music, by the way. What is this? I think it's Tekken music. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, like that. Um, yeah, good. I like the stage choice with the uh, character. Like, Samus is so slow compared to Sheik, and this is a small stage. So. Ooh, the needle confirm? Mm, right there, not getting a punish on shield. Maybe you're right, Wagner. Maybe this this is good for Sheik, but it looks hard. It's just like one of those situations so. where... Oh, thank you. Where I feel just like Samus does not have to work anymore. Can I get a fork as well? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Samus just doesn't have to work as hard. Yeah, and he's doing pretty good. 130% and only 60%. I need to grab hot sauce. Yeah, you can't eat without hot sauce. And wow, clank, back air clanking with um, charge shot. Yeah, great confirm. I like that because um, I feel like a, lo a lot of Samus's, or sorry, Sheik's would have just like went for an aerial, but realizing bouncing fish would easily connect and take the stock. But charge shot gonna um, catch his neutral get up, I'm pretty sure, and take the stock. And now back to even. Oh, oh, I think he was trying to push him. Push him under free fall, but unfortunately not working, but still holding oh, good advantage. That's very little, though. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God, his hot sauce, everyone. Oh, my. Oh, that was such a beautiful combo. I love It'll that. It'll be empty. Yeah, and finally, we're seeing um, Choji up at a shield. I'm not sure exactly what the frame data on that is. Wait, is this death? I think he's gimped. Yeah. Good stuff. O only taking 16% that whole stock. He was in advantage state that whole time. And like I was saying earlier, um, this is where you have to abuse Samus. Like, if you're not keeping her in the ledge, you just will not win the matchup. So, uh, Passion is uh, like a chic. He's kind of just like a random from, uh, I don't want to say random like in that sense. Just like random, like he just kind of plays a bunch of different characters. But he's good. His, his mains are Peach and, and Sheik. Or not Peach Cheek, or Diddy Kong and Sheik. Uh, he's from Texas. He hasn't been in Northern California for that long. I want to say like, Less than a year, but he's he's not able to go out to tournaments that much because he works. Yeah, and I think a lot. He, like this like smaller um, local area. He's only been for a few months. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, Wagner, I do not see Sheik pretty often, so if I'm spreading misinformation, then I apologize. Me, me purposely spreading misinformation about Smash. Yeah, he's still holding on to the stock. I mean, only seventy percent um, extra credit. But, like, that's a lot if you think about it. You don't, you don't want to go into your your last stock. Oh my god, beautiful confirm. Oh my goodness. I think he could get him here. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's just dead. Okay. Don't Bye. do it. Wait, I'm going to fight. What? Do, no. Oh, actually, I fought in a few Sheiks. I, I'm fine with that. Even though I think Peach might lose to Sheik, um, I'm confident enough in the matchup. So, So Wagner, I will say this. I think that I think that she, your, your Sheik does not slap. You're lying. That's cap. you only uh, beaten me off cheese. So I'm going to say this. I think that Sheik has the potential to be a top five character, but only with like task level consistency. Yeah. And like that could be said about a lot of characters like Steve and Peach and Pikachu. And it's just like, I think we need to start being real. And honestly, I, I think Sheik is still super good because her neutral, it's like a guessing game. It's, it's oppressive, but. Also banger song choice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to a game five. This has been a really intense set between the two. And I know both these are passionate. Haha, <laughs> get it, get it. Sorry, they're passionate players. And um... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my thing. Sheik froze in the graphic. Like, like Samus was fine, and then Sheik was just like, Whoa! Is that foreshadowing? We'll see. Of course, Amos would laugh at that. Amos, don't, don't encourage him. Thank you, Amos. Don't encourage him. Listen, the stream needs entertainment. Well, me chewing on nachos was more <laughs> entertaining than that joke. When we move banging. That's, your, that's what like the after show should be. Anyway, back to the set. Anyway, back <laughs> to the set. I think Spargo Sheik could be like a top five character, but but like no less than that. <laughs> Spargo? Spargo, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Spargo is good enough with like inputs per minute 
and he's got that young man. He can't play Cloud. That young man vitality, but he also plays Mithra. Yeah. Sparko's goaded. Yeah, I feel like he could have upbeat out of shield right there, and it's really important for Samus to be able to upbeat a shield so you don't get um, suffocated. Ooh! I, I really like that option, but um, maybe just going for uh, another F tilt. Wagner! Right Wagner! Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> You're gonna say Sheik's top five, but then better than a top three character. Interesting. Yeah, it's... Well, I'm not even gonna give my Sash opinions. Bro, uh, I, I think I can still pull it up on my PC. Oh. Uh, me, Wagner, and Wes all made tier lists. And Wagner's Smash Ultimate tier list was something to behold, I will say that. No. I, I think Pichu was like, uh, Pikachu wasn't even like top 20. That's crazy, no. Pikachu, <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu's broken, but also, yeah, no. Sheik is so much better than Aegis. I agree. But I keep getting sidetracked. Um, both of them are two stocks, pretty much even. Um, and like, we're just seeing continuous up -bees. I like seeing. I think it's such a strong option. It's so irritating getting a bead um, when you're fighting Samus. Yeah, and holding advantage really well all, but giving it up, um, not hitting the uh, down bead. I forgot what it's called. Bouncing fish. And all of a sudden, a reversal. That one bouncing fish has kept him, um, let him being in disadvantage for so long. Oh my god, I think that's bad DI. Okay, but I've never fought a Sheik and felt that the character was as good as you say she is. I know, like imagine if like one of our top players or any top player like seriously took up Sheik, I think it'd be terrifying. I mean, we have like really good, we have like a really good Sheik player in NorCal. Who? Travante. But uh, Travante is like barely active. And um, is, it, is that his tag? Travante, yeah. Okay. He, he was former like top one uh, in the previous game. I don't know if he ever. Can you increase the brightness? Um, I mean, is he on the same monitor that you were on, or is he on the left monitor? Oh, he's on the no, he's on the right monitor. Yeah, and this is so scary for Passion because he's on his last stock, and Samus has like options to kill you from all distances and when you're nervous and like trying to not be killed because like you're not you're only thinking how am i not going to die in this moment and when you do that you don't get to think clearly oh good i don't know if that was good oh no i get what you mean though never mind you want me to increase the monitor mm. that passion is on <gasps> and that's it that killed yeah so like i was saying he was so scared of charge shot he um a directional air dodge to up when he just didn't need to and that allowed uh, Choji to get a grab and kill him. Good stuff to Choji, though. Good stuff to Choji. He played that really well. Um, making like good utilization. The second that um, Passion gave up advantage, he would re reversal it. And that was like the most important thing of that I'm set. Fix right, this real quick. I'll be right back. Sure. Okay, and... I wonder if um, Versed Ace is gonna keep going random. I know. I mean, I would like to see a Samus Ditto. And I've played both of them today, and like, of course, you know, Versed Ace is a super high ranked player, and.